First of all, you should be aware that the question is a bit off balance at least. Since nothing exists in space and has no temperature, it cannot be considered as cold. Technically speaking, temperature is a measurement of the speed at which atoms and molecules move. Everything in it, including planets, stars, dust clouds, spacecraft and astronauts, has a temperature. There are atoms in even empty space, albeit not many. There is a very thin gas in deep space, distant from stars and planets, with one atom per spoonful, or about 10 cubic centimeters of space. In comparison, there are more than 10 to the power of 20 or 100 billion billion molecules in a spoonful of air on Earth. Why is heat present on Earth, but not in the sky, if the sun is in the sky? To begin with, space is extremely cold, with an average background temperature of 2.7 Kelvin, or minus 270.45 Celsius, or minus 454.8 Fahrenheit. Even though the Sun is roughly 150 million kilometers away from Earth, we can always feel its warmth. It is astonishing how a burning object from far away can cast its heat over such a large distance. In 2019, Q8's temperature hit 63 degrees Celsius under direct sunlight. In such conditions, standing for an extended period of time puts you at risk of dying from heat stroke. Prior to delving into this perplexing occurrence, it is crucial to distinguish between heat and temperature, two terms that are sometimes used synonymously. Let us see the role of heat and temperature. Put simply, heat is the energy that a thing contains, and temperature is the unit used to determine how hot or cold an object is. An object's temperature increases as heat is transmitted to it. As heat is removed from an object, the temperature value decreases. Solids can transfer heat by conduction. Heat is transferred from hotter to cooler particles as the solid particles vibrate and collide with one another as they heat up. Convection is a phenomena that occurs in liquids and gases and transfers heat. This kind of heat transfer between solids and fluids also takes place near the surface. The molecules rise to the top of the heated fluid and take the heat energy with them. The best device to illustrate convective heat transfer is a room heater. The air will climb to the top of the room and warm up as a result of the heater heating the surrounding air. A convection stream is produced when the chilly air at the top is compelled to descend and warm up. The process by which an item releases heat in the form of light is known as heat transfer through radiation. Depending on their temperature, all materials radiate some amount of thermal energy. Everything, including humans, emits heat in the form of infrared rays when it is at room temperature. Thermal imaging cameras are able to detect objects even in the dark because of radiation. An object will emit more the hotter it is. One of the best examples of how heat radiation spreads throughout the solar system is the sun. It is now clear to us that matter is the only substance that is affected by temperature. But space is nearly a vacuum. This indicates that heat cannot be transferred. The heat cannot be transferred by convection or conduction. The only thing left is radiation. The atoms that make up a thing begin to absorb energy when they come into contact with radiation from the sun. The atoms begin to vibrate as a result of this energy, producing heat in the process. The things in the space will stay at the same temperature for a very long time, since there is no method for heat to be conducted. Cold things remain cold and hot things remain hot. However, there is a lot of matter to energize when solar radiation enters the Earth's atmosphere. As a result, humans experience heat from the sun's rays. This inevitably raises the question of what would occur if we place something outside of the atmosphere of the Earth. You can easily get burned or frozen in space. 
an object would heat up to about 120 Celsius when it is exposed to direct sunlight and removed from the Earth's atmosphere. Things that are not in direct sunlight, both on Earth and in space, have temperatures of about 10 degrees Celsius. The heating of certain molecules that leave the Earth's atmosphere is the reason of the current 10 Celsius temperature. The temperature of the empty void in space between the celestial planets, on the other hand, is only 3 Kelvin above absolute zero. The primary lesson to be learned from this is that matter must absorb solar radiation in order for its temperature to be sensed. Space is chilly because there is hardly any matter in it. Parts of the shade are known to turn cold. The greatest illustration is at night, when the Earth's temperature drops, because no radiation is reaching that region. Things are a little different in space, though. Indeed, there will be a significant variation in temperature between areas that receive sunshine and those that are shaded from the sun's rays. On both of its sides, the spacecraft will experience two distinct temperature extremes. Consider the Moon as an example. The Moon's dark side will be a frigid minus 173 Celsius, while the regions that receive sunlight are heated to 127 Celsius. But why aren't the effects the same on Earth? The infrared radiation from the Sun are absorbed by our atmosphere, which also equally distributes the ones that do enter the atmosphere. A probe was launched into space as part of the NASA Parker Solar Probe mission to study the Sun. The probe was only 15 million miles from the Sun in April 2019. It employed a thermal shield to keep itself safe. When the heat shield was exposed to solar light, its temperature rose to 121 Celsius, while the probe's overall temperature remained at minus 150 Celsius. A system stays at the same temperature when there is nothing for it to heat up. In terms of space, this is true. Even if heat from the sun can pass through it, no molecules or atoms are there to receive it. For the same reason, the space around a rock will not absorb any heat, even when the rock is heated by solar radiation over 100 Celsius. Temperature transfer does not occur when there is no matter.